Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a sancocho colombiano. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so for this recipe, we're gonna be needing one tomato, make sure it's a large one or two small ones, one white onion, one bell pepper, three potatoes, two pounds of carne de res, any kind of beef that you want is totally fine. I'm using chuck roast, two pounds, and also one pound of beef bones. Uh, three cobs of corn, cassava, yuca, however you know it as, one green plantain, scallions, and two packs of sazon goya. You're also gonna be needing salt, pepper, some garlic, so let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing first is our ogao. So all of my vegetables are washed, so I'm just gonna cut them up and we're gonna pulse them in the food processor. Also guys, don't forget to add garlic to this. I already added it, but you definitely don't want to miss the garlic either. So let's go take this to the stove. Okay, so I just put some olive oil in my pot. Make sure the pot is large because it's going to be curing a lot of things. I'm going to put my olgao in there. Now, the olgao, the more you make, the more oil you're going to need. So if you find that you don't really see any more oil in the bottom of your pot, don't be afraid to add more because you want this to be very hydrated. You don't want it to dry up. Okay, so I'm just prepping all my vegetables. I ended up adding one more platano verde just because one would not be enough since I'm making such a big soup. But it really is to your preference, guys. If you guys like a lot of corn, add more corn. If you guys don't like a lot of platano, don't add so much platano. It's really what is comfortable for your home. So I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna put them in when we're ready to cook them. But right now we're gonna finish off the ogao for the sopa. Okay, so our ogao has been cooking like this for I wanna say 15 minutes. The more you let it cook, the more flavor all those vegetables are gonna come out. So if you're pressed for time, I recommend making this in the pressure cooker. But this is exactly what we're looking for. It even changed color, so it's a good sign. So now we're gonna add both of our sazon goya packets. One of them is with achiote and the other one is without achiote, just so it can add to the color. If you don't have these, you can add the sad, which is I know they use that a lot in Colombia. We're gonna put this in. We're gonna put some salt. And we're gonna put some pepper. We're gonna give this a good mix. I wish you guys can smell this. It smells so good. And I ended up adding a lot more oil, like around, I would say, a quarter cup because the vegetables absorb a lot of that oil. Okay, so at the 15 minute mark, if your ogao looks like this, then it's ready for the meat. So I'm gonna start adding the chuck in the bottom and I'm gonna put the bones on the top because essentially what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna let the meat cook in that ogao and we want all its juices to come out. And this should take maybe 10 to 15 minutes, but again, the longer you let it cook, the better. So all my chuck is in the bottom, and I'm gonna put the bones right on top. Good. So I'm gonna push everything down, because I want everything or as much as possible to be submerged in the ogao because that's where all the flavor is going to come from is the juices of that meat and i have this on medium low and i'm going to cover it and let it cook like this for another 15 minutes okay so this is exactly what it should look like i have not added any water to this 
all the juices from the meat have come out, which is exactly what we want. It's changed color. So now it's ready for us to add the water. This has been sitting here cooking in its own juices for about 15, 20 minutes. So we're gonna add the water now. I'm not gonna add the vegetables yet just because I really want to let this sit and cook. I'm gonna probably let it boil on low for about an hour to hour and a half. The longer we let it do that, the more delicious it's gonna taste. So be patient with it. And I'm gonna let it boil for about an hour like I said. And then we'll come back and see how it's looking and add our vegetables. Okay, so our soup is looking really good. It's been cooking for about 45 minutes, almost an hour. So we're going to start adding our vegetables in. So we have our yuca here. We're going to add this. We're going to add our corn. Our potatoes. and our platano. We're gonna give it one last mix. As you can see, this pot was the perfect size for the amount of stuff that I have in it. And this is gonna take maybe 20 more minutes to finish cooking. Guys, our sancocho is done. It was cooking for around 15 to 20 minutes and all the vegetables are cooked through and the soup tastes amazing. So let's start serving. So now that our sancocho is ready, I'm just gonna make some patacones real quick, which are also known as tostones. And I have some rice cooking. So this is completely optional, but in my family, they've always given me sancocho with patacones. So I can't have sancocho without it. So I'm just gonna take off the skin of these and we're gonna start cooking them. So our oil's nice and hot, so we're gonna start putting in our platano verde. I peeled it and I just cut it up into small little squares like this. For those who don't know how to make tostones or patacones, you have to double fry them. Fry them once like this, and then take them out. We're gonna flatten them and then fry them again. Okay, so our platanos have been fried first, so we're gonna get a tortillera. You guys can use the bottom of a cup, the bottom of a pan. This is how, it's just easier for me to do it like this, but my grandma used to do it with the bottom of a pan, or even a rock, she used to do it with a rock. Like that. Just like that. Okay, so all our patacones are ready to be fried. Now it's very important, as soon as you take out the patacones, salt them right away. That way the salt sticks to them. All right guys, we are finally done our sancocho. It smells amazing. I just topped it off with a little bit of cilantro, but we have our platano here, our potato, our yuca, the meat, and the bone and our corn and we have our patacones here arroz blanco y aguacate i hope you guys enjoyed this time with me please don't forget to subscribe like and share and i'll see you guys in the next video